Welcome to Touch Technology Review. In this video, I'm going to show you how to free up RAM and disk drive space on your Mac. Running out of space, unfortunately, is a common problem with Macs, especially for those of you buying in at the entry-level price point where you may have only selected 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 SSD storage. But it can even happen to those of you who've maxed out and purchased the top spec machine. Now, before we know what's causing the problem taking up all the space, we can run some basic diagnostics. And Mac OS has the tool that helps you do that. It's called the Activity Monitor and it's located in your Utilities folder. To bring up the app, simply tap on Command Space to reveal the search bar and type in Activity Monitor. Or go to your Applications folder, then into the Utilities folder and click on the Activity Monitor app. When the application opens up, you're most likely going to be on the CPU landing page, which indicates all of the applications on the left-hand side under the process name column. And just below, you'll get a total of CPU usage by percentage, and that will show you how much the system is using, how much the particular user that's logged in is using, and also how much CPU is idle. The next tab is the memory tab. And this one is where you can see how much RAM is currently being used by the applications that are open. Once again, we have all the apps listed on the left-hand side underneath the process name title. And we can see the name of the application. And then in the memory column window, we can see how much memory is being allocated to each application. Right at the top there, we have DaVinci Resolve using two gigabytes, which doesn't surprise me because that is a video editing application. It's rather resource intensive. And then further down, we see Google Chrome using 218, Finder itself, 201 megabytes. We've got Firefox open, 108 megabytes. So a complete breakdown of the memory allocation by application. And then down at the bottom of the screen, you can see the total physical memory available, which in this case is 40 gigabytes for this iMac that I'm using. And the readout is broken into different categories. There's the physical memory, which is the total amount of memory installed on the computer. The memory used is the amount of physical memory that is in use by apps or the system. The cache files indicates the size of files cached by the system into unused memory to improve performance. And then the swap used is the amount of compressed data temporarily moved to the disk to make room in memory for more recently used data. So in total, we don't have any problems here. We are using around 17.9 gigabytes of RAM, but let's suppose I was running out of memory I could easily close down applications. For example, if I wanted to close down Firefox to free up some space, I'll double click on Firefox and then click on quit in the pop-up window. You might have to do that a couple of times and eventually it should quit out. Another way to shut down your applications to free up space is to tap on command option and escape simultaneously. That brings up the dedicated force quit applications window and it shows you very clearly all the applications that are currently open and you can click on any one of those and click on force quit to shut the applications down. And you should find that will help you free up some RAM and hopefully improve your operating conditions. Now, if you're looking to free up some storage space, click on the Apple icon on the top left-hand corner of the screen and click on about this Mac and then click on more info. Scroll down and then click on storage settings. And this will show you how much space is available. Now I've got 911 gigabytes available, so still plenty of space. And you can actually get a breakdown of the different categories of data. You have the documents in red at the front, applications, other users and shared, music creation, iOS files, music, system data, and then you have the amount available. So if we wanted to free up some space, uh, realizing what's taking up the most amount of storage, we can go into each folder accordingly and remove some data. The one thing I've noticed is that system data seems to be a little bloated, and this quite often happens when you're using the Adobe Creative Cloud 
which stores a lot of excess data in the cache folder in your library. So today I'm going to show you how to delete those cache files to free up a significant amount of storage space. So how do we access our library folder? First of all, you can click on the Go menu at the top and click on Library. If you don't have that available in the dropdown, hold down the Command key and click on Go. If you're still having troubles getting to your library, click on the Finder itself and hold down Command, Shift and G simultaneously. And that will bring up a search window. Type in the tilde key, which appears just above your tab key on the keyboard on the left hand side, and then forward slash library. And that will bring you straight into your library folder. Navigate into the caches folder, and you'll see a whole bunch of cache folders. As I mentioned, Adobe tends to be the biggest culprit here in terms of storing excess files in the cache folder. So if I click on Command and I to get some information about that folder, you can see that the Adobe cache is using 184 gigabytes of storage. Now this has come from previous edits in Premiere Pro, After Effects, uh, whatever application I might, might have used, maybe Lightroom and Photoshop and it stored that up over a significant period of time. There's no harm in deleting these files, they're just cache files. So to delete, all you need to do is hold the command key and hit delete, and it will automatically delete the folder, or you can just drag it into the trash can, and likewise, it will delete. And don't forget to empty the trash by hovering over the trash can icon on the bottom right-hand corner, hold down the control key at the same time as clicking the mouse and then click on empty bin. Confirm that. And you might find that it will take some time because there are thousands of cache files in there that need to be deleted. Let's have a look at the amount of system data being used now. You'll see that we're using only 149 gigabytes rather than the 300 or so that was demonstrated earlier prior to deleting all those cache files. So a good saving of storage on your drive by simply removing unwanted, unnecessary cache files by going into the library and caches folder. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any comments or questions, Drop them in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible. Bye for now.